In this video, we'll be talking about co-function identities. Now you'll notice in my diagram, I've labeled angle A right here. But instead of labeling the other acute angle as angle B, I've labeled it as 90 minus A. Now we know that that's true because the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. I've used 90 degrees for my right angle. And so the other two acute angles have to add up to 90 degrees. So if this one is A, then the other acute angle will be 90 minus A. And I did that for my co-function identities. You'll see that in a minute. All right, my uh, trig functions, I've gone ahead and written those ratios down. Remember that the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So my sine of A is A over C. My cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so B over C. My tangent is opposite over adjacent, so opposite A is A and adjacent is B. And then cosecant is reciprocal of sine, so my sine is A over C, my cosecant is C over A. My secant is reciprocal of cosine, so flip this over, C over B, and you have secant. And then my cotangent is reciprocal of tangent. So B over A will be my cotangent. Now I want you to notice then, let's just look at this ratio. A over C is also, in terms of my 90 minus A angle, is the cosine. So this is my cosine of 90 minus A. The B over C ratio is, in terms of my 90 minus A, is that's opposite in hypotenuse. So that is the sine of 90 minus A. Um, in, in terms of my 90 minus A angle, A over B is adjacent over opposite. So that is my cotangent of 90 minus A. Um, for C over A, that would be my secant of 90 minus A. For C over B, with respect to 90 minus A, that's hypotenuse over opposite, cosecant, 90 minus A. And then for B over A, for the this angle up here, B over A, that would be opposite and then adjacent, so that is our tangent. So these are our co-function identities. And whenever you have identities, that means that they're equal. So you can substitute, if you want to, you can substitute this expression in for this one or vice versa. Now the co-function identities are pretty easy to remember if you'll just remember co, they're co-functions. So the for sine, the co-function is cosine. And then for cosine, the co-function is sine, and so forth. Let's do a problem with our co-function identities. 
Um, our first example says to write each function in terms of its co-function. Well, sine has a co-function of cosine. So this would be equal to cosine of 90 minus the angle. And in this case, the angle is 9 degrees. So this would be cosine of 81. For cotangent of 76, the cofunction is tangent. So that would be tangent 90 minus 76, which gives me tangent 14. And another one, the cofunction of cosecant is secant. So this will be secant of 90 minus the angle. The angle is 45. So we have secant 45. And then for this one, the cofunction of cosine is sine. So it would be sine of, and I'm going to use a bracket because I need to take 90 minus this angle, and it's a binomial, alpha plus 20. So I need to do a little uh, algebraic manipulation here. I'll distribute this negative through to simplify. So I have sine of 90 minus alpha minus 20 and now I can combine like terms and that simplifies to the sine of 90 minus 20 is 70 minus alpha Do another problem with our cofunction identities. It says to find one solution for each equation, assume all angles involved are acute angles. So our equation is cotangent theta minus 8 is equal to tangent 4 theta plus 13. Well, by our cofunction identity, We know that cotangent of theta minus 8 is equal to tangent of 90 minus that angle. So I have cotangent equal to this, and I have cotangent the same cotangent theta minus 8 equal to this. So I can set these two equal to each other. So tangent 4 theta plus 13 is equal to tangent 90 minus theta minus 8. So now that I have the same trig function, I can um, set the arguments equal to each other. So 4 theta plus 13 is equal to 90 minus theta minus 8. Now let's uh, distribute our minus sign. So 4 theta plus 13 equals 90 minus theta plus 8. Let's add theta to both sides. It'll cancel this. And let's subtract 13 from both sides. 
that'll cancel here. And I end up with 5 theta equals let's see, 90 plus 8 is 98. Subtract 13 is 85. Divide both sides by 5. And we see that theta is equal to 17 degrees. Let's do another one. Our problem is secant of 5 theta plus 14 equals cosecant 2 theta minus 8. By our co-function identities, we know that secant of some angle is equal to its co-function, cosecant of 90 minus that angle. So now I have secant 5 theta plus 14 equals this expression, and secant 5 theta plus 14 also equals this expression, which means that I can set these two equal to each other. So cosecant 2 theta minus 8 equals cosecant 90 minus 5 theta plus 14. Now since they both are in cosecant, then I can set their arguments equal. So I have 2 theta minus 8 is equal to 90 minus 5 theta plus 14. Distribute our minus sign. 2 theta minus 8 equals 90 minus 5 theta minus 14. Um, combine our like terms. 2 theta minus 8 equals 76 minus 5 theta. Let's add 5 theta to both sides. and add 8 to both sides. So 7 theta is equal to 84. Divide both sides by 7. So theta is equal to 12. 